name your element. Oops, it's a better. The element discovered in 1789 was uranium. Uranium is how to say uranium. Uranium was named after the planet Uranus. Uranus. Uranium is radioactive. Radio active. Uranium's radioactivity is used to make electricity in power stations called nuclear power stations. Nuclear. Uranium. Uranium's radioactivity is used to make atomic bombs. One uranium atomic bomb destroyed Hiroshima in Japan, the city. Not everybody knows Hiroshima or Hiroshima is a city in Japan. Enrico Fermi discovered an element and named it after the planet Pluto. That's cool. After the planet Pluto. Enrico named the new element plutonium. Plutonium is used to make electricity in fast breeder reactors. Plutonium is used to make more powerful atomic bombs. One American plutonium atomic bomb destroyed the city Nagasaki. In Japan. Mercury is named after the planet and Roman god Mercury. Mercury. Mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature, 20 degrees C. Temperature. Mercury melts at minus. 39 degrees C. All other metals are solid until after 30 degrees C. Mercury looks like liquid silver and so is often called quicksilver. Hospitals take your temperature using mercury thermometers. Thermometers. Neptunium was named after the planet Neptune. Neptunium is used to detect neutrons. Neutrons. Neutrons and protons are at the center of every atom. Editing. Einsteinium is named after Einstein. I-in-Einstein. Einstein. Einstein. Yeah. Einstein is famous for e equals mc squared. The energy E from a nuclear bomb or nuclear power fuel rod is equal to the mass times the speed of light squared. Nobelium is named after Alfred Nobel. Nobel. Nobel invented dynamite. Dynamite. Nobel is famous for the Nobel Peace Prize. Yes, uh, also his invention made the First World War go on rather than just six months when everyone would have run out of explosives for guns and uh, mortars and artillery. Um, his invention meant that the war could go on for 1914 to 1918, four years. The elements that were used in Roman times still have the, their ancient names. The best copper mines were on the island of Cyprus. Cyprus. So the Romans called copper cuprus. Cuprus. 
Copper is the pink conducting metal inside the plastic wires that recharge your phone. Conducting. Yeah, oh, inside all things that have got electrical wires. We always use copper. It's not too expensive and it's pretty good conductor. Tungsten is a heavy metal element. Tung means heavy in Swedish and sten means stone. The heaviest stones in Sweden contain the ores of tungsten. Tungsten is in the thin wires in light bulbs. Yes. Helium is named after the ancient Greek goddess thin wires in old um, old type old fashioned yeah. old fashioned light bulbs because now we have LEDs which don't have a wire helium is named after the ancient Greek goddess of the sun Helios Helium. Helium is used in balloons that go up. The sun changes helium, changes hydrogen to helium. An atomic bomb called a H-bomb does the same. That is why suns and H-bombs are so hot. Helium was detected in the sun's atmosphere before it was discovered on Earth. The radioactive element found in rocks and used in nuclear power stations and nuclear bombs is uranium named after the planet Uranus the radioactive element named made in uranium power stations is used in nuclear power power bombs made in nuclear power stations and used in nuclear bombs is plutonium named after the planet Pluto. Mercury is the silver colored liquid metal used in hospital thermometers. To find out how hot you are. Because if you're very hot, you're gonna be very ill, so they keep you in hospital. The conducting metal in wires that charge up your phone is copper. Cool, good. Press my picture to get more of my videos. Press like, press subscribe. Bye.